That's right, we're gonna build another search engine. Let's go. All right, here we are back for another video. And before I begin, number one, don't forget to subscribe because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Make sure you don't miss out on that stuff. But more importantly, I just wanna say I am from Melbourne, Australia, and we are coming out of lockdown tomorrow. We've been in lockdown in uh, two months now, or three, five, feels like three months. And, you know, we've just been at home going crazy. So it's really nice to be able to start doing stuff outside. So anyone who's from, you know, Melbourne, Victoria, yes. Anyone who's from Sydney or, you know, other parts of Australia, you know, uh, I know things are a lot worse in those areas. So, you know, I'm really hoping things get a lot better. And anyone who's not in Australia, same thing. You know, I want everyone to be safe and, you know, let's do some, let's do some tableau to feel better. So this question comes from, where is it? Ravel. So, hi, do you know how to make two different search engines in one? So this is kind of like an add-on question from a video I had done ages ago so it's really funny because i watched this video if i look at this all right i'm gonna mute it it's so weird hearing my voice this was on 4th of june 2020 so it was over a year ago and i'm listening to it and i'm like man i sound so boring this like it's just it's just boring you know when, when i watch it and i'm just like you know obviously i still want things to get better but it's just really funny watching your old uh material so hopefully i'm you know things have gotten better you like you guys like watching the stuff so here we go uh, the question is, how do you make two different search engines in one uh, example, city and product? So in this example, basically what I did is I built a search engine. And the way that works is, let me show you. So let me open up Tableau. And the data set we're going to be using is the sample uh, Superstore data, because it's just like kind of like my go-to. Um, people probably wonder why I keep using it. And the reason is because the data is quite authentic in that, it's got a really good mixture of data types, data like information, uh, and you can do all sorts of things with it. And it's actually surprisingly hard to come up with a data set that is good enough to be able to so, to demonstrate so many different problems. I've tried; it's re, it's actually really hard. So um, I usually just go to the superstore, or I modify the superstore data for other things. Anyways, so we've loaded that up. Uh, if you want to follow along, that's in the description below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a very simple single field search engine to show you kind of how it works. I'm going to build a very simple graphic. Uh, let's do sales. I'm going to do category. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do subcategory. And I'm just going to transpose that so it's a bit easier to read. Okay. And then I'm going to do a dashboard. Oops, not a story. Delete. A dashboard. I'm going to bring that in. And I'm just going to make this entire view, All right? So you don't have to do this part. This is just to show you what I'm kind of talking about. All right. And I'm going to add a blank part up here. And the only reason is so that we can put our search in at the top. And let's make this a little bit lower. Okay. I'm going to add the filter in for this field that I'm searching. So go filters. And it's probably cut off a bit, but I'm just picking subcategory. There we go. And I'm going to switch this to wildcard match. So this filter basically lets me type in something that I'm looking for. So this is particularly useful when you have really big data sets and you're building it with the user experience in mind. Like for example, they're looking for their own name or they're looking for a department or they're looking for a product. Instead of them having to go through the list to filter it or pressing this button, right? This little magnifying glass up here, they can just have a search engine straight away. And the reason it's, and the other reason it's really good is people are actually very used to search engines, right? And if I do this, if I move it here, it looks pretty much like kind of how Google got started. So if I'm looking for, for example, furnishings, I can just go fur, press enter, and I can see the value straight away. We'll add the labels there. Okay, if I get rid of that, let's for, look for something with the same letter. Let's say I, put, I go, give me anything with the letter A, right? And it gives me anything with the letter A, or if I'm going, give me um, machines, label storage. I'm looking for something where there's two letters. Oh, okay, ES, right? Let's say I'm looking for ES. There you go. So these are old ones with the ES. And that's just a basic search engine. One of the other things you can do, and this is more of a performance thing, sometimes you have a visualization where you want to show every single individual item. But there could be like 20,000, 100,000, a million rows. And every time it renders, it takes a while. So what you can do instead is when you go here to that filter, 
you click on this button, include all values when empty. And what that does is it makes it invisible, right, for the moment and will only activate once you do a search. So if I go fur, it gives me only the furnishing ones, or we do that example again, letter A. Okay, so it's kind of a different way of doing it. So let me bring that back. So getting back to the question, so now that hopefully that gives you a bit of context. So getting back to the question of like, how do you do this with two fields? Well, let's go ahead and add two fields. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add category to the front. So now they're grouped. Um, I played around with this before. There's a few things we have to do to kind of make it usable. So there are some limitations, right? So I'm going to go filters, I'm going to add category. I'm going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go wildcard match and I'm going to hold shift and just put it like this. So if I do give me furniture, right? See how it searches furniture here. And then I can search the subcategory, give me chairs. So I can do a two field search like that. However, there's a problem with if I do this, include all values when empty, include all values when empty. And here's the problem. If I do furniture, it doesn't give me anything because in this particular scenario, you need to have something in both of them for it to work. So now I have to go chair, for example, and then it'll work. So that's something you have to keep in mind. I have no, no work around for that. So it's just something you have to think about. Okay. And there's one other thing, which is you can do a wildcard filter across two fields at the same time, right? And here's how you can possibly do it. Okay, let's go sheet one. I'm going to do a calculated field and I'm going to first reduce this thing because it's massive. Okay, so I'm going to call this, let's say category and sub, right? And I'm going to bring these two in. Okay, and then I'm going to concatenate them. So just combining the strings. So I what is it? Is it a plus? I think it's a plus. I've been, I've used like 10 different programs in the last two days. So I'm like between different programming languages at the moment. Yeah, it's plus. Okay. So I do that. Right. And what I should be able to do is add this somewhere. I can add this here. All right. You see that? So basically I've combined the entire string. And what I can also do is I can go here and go show header. See how it's hidden it? Now, the reason I do that is because I need to bring this into the data somewhere so that I can create a filter. So if I go back to dashboard one, let's get rid of these two. I can go here, I can go filters, and I can click on that one that I created. So category and sub, all right, you can see that. We switch it to a wildcard, uh, where's it, here. And what this does is it searches both fields at the same time. So you have just a single search engine. So if you're like, oh, give me anything office supplies, right? It will do it like that. The only risk here, and again, just another limit limitation is if you have something where it's common to this, well, to this field and this field, it's going to search both. So for example, if I do like the letter E, right? It just shows me everything because there's a letter E here, E here, E. Let's just do, let's do letter A. Right, so it's got the letter A, A, A. There's no A's actually in the category, but there are A's in here. Let's do the letter O, for example. Okay, there you go. So this is another way to do it. And by doing this, you can use this function, include all values when empty. So now it simplifies it a hell of a lot more. Okay, so uh, let me find that question again. Where did I put that question before I close up on this one? Okay, here we go. So Ravel, um, hopefully this answers your question and gives you a few ideas on how to build a search engine. Hope you guys enjoyed another Tableau video and I will see you soon. Bye.